sorry, baby. But, uh, it's been a, been a long week. That's all you got? Well, how far did you get? Oh. Did you a little? Not even close. Oh, sorry. Jackass. Oh, sorry about that. Oh. Go okay. drink some more. Maybe that'll help get it up. Look, I've been under a lot of pressure. I'm trying to get this movie deal working. Oh, I missed a call, damn it. I missed a call during sex. Oh, you late. fell asleep during sex. Yeah. And how does this make you feel, Batman? What are you, my psychiatrist? I already got one of those. <sighs> He's a troubling, troubling young man. He came to me a few years ago with this fascination with I'm Batman. And I just, I didn't know how to deal with him. I realized that he doesn't really have the superhero attitude. He's kind of whiny. He blames a lot of people. For instance, this Joker character. I kind of feel sorry for him, as if he was the actual victim. Yeah, you f whack him. Some justice, that is. Look at me. I'm here in handcuffs. Do you think he fought me man to man? No. Some bitch back up with a lead pipe and popped me in the back of the head as I was bending over somebody. You think that was fair? No. He's a damn little bastard. <laughs> you said you'd call me back to easy. Nobody says anything. No. What, what is it? Spam? How long is a commercial? Okay. Spam when it work. I don't need Robin. He doesn't carry me. I carry him. Look, what am I paying you for? Oh, the check bounced. I'll send you another one. So I don't know what else I can do for him. He screws me over day in and day out. I've tried helping him numerous amount of time. He doesn't want to help himself. Um, I don't know what else to do for him. I support him financially. He screws me over on that. Um, I don't know what else to do. I'm out of blank. What, what about that, uh, that uh, one thing with the, the guy that has a little trouble with his, uh, you know, his penis? Yeah. Just show me what you can do. Get me something. Anything. I don't do children's parties. No bar mitzvahs. Well, try. I just need to be out there. When they see me out there, like Shatner, he's out there now. Doing commercials, I can do that. No, uh, you're not listening to me. What? Call me back. Agents. Okay. Jeez. Stronger than this shit. Come on. I got a uh, job working freight. That was interesting. What and, happened there? Well, I'd rather not say. <laughs> this sexual harassment thing, I'm not, I'm not really supposed to say anything. Well, after the divorce was final with him and his first wife, or only wife, I should say, he came in and he was telling me some of his problems with what he's been doing. Apparently he's now a ch chain smoker, smoking, I'm guessing, 12 cartons a day. That's, that's a chain smoker. He was a lousy husband, a lousy man. I don't even want to be associated with him. Let's go to your childhood. Were you ever touched in a demeanor that proved 
unbeneficial towards your mental health status? I mean, did somebody ever connect with me, you know, and, you know, wait a minute. The f is that supposed to mean? So I have been touched. Next question. Have you ever had a significant male counterpart? Are you talking about Robin? Nightwing? Yeah, I'm talking about Boy, Robin. Man, we're not even going to talk about him. I heard that he's going to like do an interview too with you guys. But you know, like, he's full of shit. You know, he paid a little more attention to the crime farting stuff instead of his penis. We, you know, we could have got some shit done, you know? I think he likes that cat woman. I think it's those ears. Maybe if I grew ears, then, you know, I would have my husband back. Have you got him ever checked up on any, like, STDs, like, gonorrhea, syphilis, or anything like that? You know, it's got something made up for him. You know, I get tested every six months just because of the fact that he's been cheating. So far, I'm clean, but I don't know about him right now. Okay, so I'm, you know, I'm doing my thing. I'm doing the Batman thing, right? And, you know, the Joker, when a little f showed up, right? You know, it's time for me to get, but I'm at the other end of town, right? You know, Gotham is, you know, from the little fucking streets. So, you know, I'm in a hurry, you know. So they got these new little zones that now now you can only go 20 miles an hour in a school zone in the middle of the f***ing night all the f***ing time. So, you know, there's a cop pulls me over, you know. And he starts giving me shit. You know? I said, hey, I'm Batman. <coughs> he goes, hey, to who you are, man, you do the f***ing car. So I stepped out of the car. And uh, he threw his uh, face into my fist. <laughs> the fat bat. <laughs> Seems to fit this guy quite well. I wonder if I should have you know, hooked up with some of the Fantastic Four before I hooked up with him and I wouldn't have any of these problems. But you guys have been together for years. Yeah, he, he tried to play the whole thing of like, oh, I'm here to help you with your parents in time of need when they died and blah, 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 blah. All he wanted was my money, the inheritance I got from my parents when they died. Was he in better shape when you met him? Yes, he was. But then all of a sudden, the drinking and, you know, the crime fighting that he would do just took over. He'd go out nights on end, never coming home, find him two days later, passed out in a dumpster. It's a glass I used last month. Still good. There you go. Oh, thank you. Say, so I can do a commercial, I can make some money. Think this fucker's ever asked me? Not a thing. Not a fucking thing. Mm. You know, I can endorse anything. Look at this car. Think I get any fucking money from Hot Wheels? Not a fucking cent. Yeah, I know Batman. I sold him that Batmobile. What a freaking loser, man. A couple months after I sold it to him, they had to repo the damn thing. Of all things, repo him Batman. So after he repoed it, he comes in and he's whining that he ain't got no wheels, you know. He got very much weight for down. I mean, he's just a, such a loser. And so I tried to get him in this Yugo we had. He wouldn't have nothing to do with that. So I said, you know, Batman, you're on your own, dude. Yeah, dude, go do your own Batman thing. Go save the world without your Batmobile. It's pathetic. Oh. Are you on drugs, Batman? Nope. Don't need him. Have you ever done drugs? Oh. Ringing in my ears. <laughs> You ever do drugs, Batman? No, no. Why not? Never puffed a Chiba? No. Well, okay, maybe once. <laughs> oh, sexual problems. Well, according to his wife, he was about this big instead of this big. There was no real superhero, if you get what I mean. But he, from their meetings with me, they just... How do I say this in a, in a way? He really lacked in the bedroom. Yeah, I dated him for a while. I don't really like to talk about it. I mean, you know, you gotta wonder what's wrong. I'm going at it and the guy falls asleep. I tell you, you know, and the smell, my God, could use to take a shower once in a while. Did I tell you? I mean, how worthless do you get? Who falls asleep during sex? You know? Am I that bad? No, it ain't me. Man, I just can't believe this. I'm sorry about the shades, but I got a black eye. 
I mean, all he does is he ever comes over to my house and he, he'll do me, and then he just takes off and gets drunk, and then comes back and beats me. I just can't stand this shit no more. Turn it off. Yeah, my sister dated him. If I ever see him again. It was, I was really down, and I needed a, something to bring me up. Just a tiny bit of that. The Joker making fun of me. And the Riddler with his <laughs> riddles all his time. I get sick of that. And did you inhale when you smoked marijuana? <laughs> Duh. Man, he was a total loser, man. I loaned him money, and all he did was want more. Every single day he'd come in late. He didn't want to work. He didn't want to do nothing. Man, I, I'm just, I don't even want to talk about him. Just get the camera out of my face. Get it out of here. Get it out. Yeah, he works for me. He's a real loser, though. When he did show up, he's always drunk. Never got no work out of him. You sit around and drink all day. He's been working on this for like six months. You can see how far it got. Not very good. So, yeah, I, I was glad to get rid of him. Real piece of work, that one. How do you Do you believe alcohol is a crutch? No. It just It just warms me up. That was good. Ha. Uh, so what do you say to all the little kids? Should they drink and drive? What is this? TV little what are those things called? A little thing you do to tell kids don't drink, don't smoke. They don't even know the real life. After he loses a little bit of weight, maybe gets out of this problem he's having, after he finally comes to his senses that he's got to remember himself first, center the whole Chinese key thing. And maybe we can hook him up with one of my, my body instructors where they're, they're teaching him some, some moves and stuff where he can upgrade himself and get away from the whole, whoa, I'm Batman. Man, that poor, poor, pitiful me. I have no money, I have nothing, everybody's against me, the world has turned on me. You know, there was a time when um, I was seen everywhere. I couldn't go anywhere without, uh, you know, somebody snapping pictures. You know, the newspaper would always carry something about me. And, you know, I'd fight a little crime and everybody would gather around and get my autograph. And, and uh, Batman was the bomb, man. That was it. That was the big... Uh, was the big hero. I, I I miss those days. Oh, well, Batman, huh? What the f is he, huh? I'll come here and out here when people need him the most. I mean, where was he when when my homies were getting mugged, huh? Where was he then? Or how about when I was mugging those stores? I mean, I didn't see Batman. Mm. If I did, I wouldn't run away like a little pussy. Yeah, I know him. He's kind of cool, but he's a dick. I think he's a hero. And he still won't be one. He used to carry a car up every week getting drunk. And if he can hear me, he needs to pay me. I'm getting stronger. My body is getting stronger. My mind is getting stronger. I'm going to come back stronger than ever. I'm not just a superhero anymore. I'm a machine. Unstoppable. I knew he wasn't going to work out. He just wasn't our kind at all. Um, he took way too many cigarette breaks. I told him not to hire him, but did they listen to me? <laughs> no. Look, look, look. You had Keaton, Kilmer, Looney, and that new guy I'd never heard of before. Hey, here's a thought, Einstein. Why doesn't Batman play Batman? Yeah. What do you mean that's impractical? I can act. You've seen me act. I don't care. I want that movie. And what's with the title? Batman Begins. Where's the rest of the sentence? Batman Begins what? 
and begins to fight, begins to run, begins to kick Robin's ass. Okay. What? You signing Robin on for it? To play who? Robin. Okay, then it would only make sense. Someone needs help? They can wait. I'm eating breakfast. I don't do anything for breakfast. Oh, okay, Terry. Find out if I can play the part. At least let me audition. Yeah. Thanks. You're doing me one big favor. Thanks a lot. again. That's right. Batman, the Cape Crusader, retired, is in trouble again. This time for attacking his ex-partner Robin and his ex-wife outside the home of his therapist. As luck would have it, an amateur filmmaker was outside at the time and took this footage. The signal is going off and I've got to go save the world. You're talking smack about me. I'm sick and tired of it. Wow. Come on. Come on. You want some of this? You want some of this? I'm like a cat. Oh. You did not just shoot me with that. You did not just shoot me. Son of a... Into the back, choke. Robinson. Oh, you fight like a girl. You just bit me. Oh, oh, you picture. Oh, oh, my daddy, my daddy. Ha. So worried about this. Where's my mask? Come get it. Give me that. No. Give it up. Robin, help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me. Help me. Help me. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Wait. He's out of breath. Wait. He's getting too old. Wait. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. I can't see. I can't see. See, I still got it. Police were called in, as well as an ambulance, uh, by the neighbors. Um, no word yet on the extent of injuries to either Robin or Batman's ex-wife. Uh, we will keep you informed as uh, the story develops. Oh, and it's horrible to see when your heroes hit rock bottom. Well, this and more news coming on at 10 o'clock. You, you kind of disappeared from the hero scene. What what happened? Well, I went on like a sabbatical. You know, I need a little time for myself, you know. Close up again. I needed to uh, you know, get in touch with uh, the public again because I was like the dark knight. I was always by myself, you know, and stalking uh, fucking alleys and shit. You know, it used to be a pain after a while. You know, you want to... You want to be with people. You want to spend a little time, you know? So I, uh, I got a real job. What, do you, what was the job? Uh, I worked security. Yeah. Um, it didn't work out too good. Really? What went wrong? Well, there was a couple shoplifters. They were little women, you know, and some kids. And, you know, I, I kicked some ass, you know? It's what you do, man. Security, right? Fuck. He took me out. First time I ever split a person's head open. He congratulated me. He made me feel like I was wanted. He taught me how to steal cars and blow up banks. 
He wasn't a bad man. No. I was every man. You know, I was out there being every man. You know, you can't always be a superhero. You can't always be there for everybody. You know, there's, there's time when somebody needs to be there for you. Just for things, you know? You think my ex-wife is there? Oh, no. She's complaining about something. I'm not bringing enough home. Did Batman ever hit you? Yes, many times. The reason I have this on is because the last time I saw him about two months ago, he jerked my arm, almost ripped it clean out of my socket. Really? Yes, broke my hand in four places. He's a violent man, especially when he's drinking. He would never do that. Ever. He is a good man. All of these items that he brings you, diamonds, necklaces, rings, you think he acquires them from people that he's put in jail? How dare you ever say anything like that about the bat? He is the most wonderful man ever. Those superheroes that they call themselves, they're nothing but dogs. There will be revenge. He will show them all. You're what, 35, 36? Bite me, boy. Not even close. Okay. It's all the hard years of living with him that have made me look older than I am. That's too bad. Do you think your relationship would have gone better if Batman hadn't been an alcoholic? No. Do you have anything you'd like to say to Batman if he was here right now? Kiss my ass. I hope you yourself and die. Okay, thank you for coming. Enjoyed this talk. But, you know, when I came back, they kind of split it. They split down what? So, my bat phone, hold on. <sighs> Batman. Mm. No, no, I don't do kitty parties. No. Did you hear what I said? I don't do kitty parties. I'm Batman. Hey. Yeah, sorry, I was uh, in the shower. Yeah, did I get the. Ow. In I the shower. Did I get the deal? Maybe now you'll have some time to practice. I'm jealous. They're jealous of me, you know, because I'm who I am, you know, I'm Batman. Though I don't feel like Batman. Because I'm not the TV Batman, you know, I'm not the, you know, the guy running around, ooh, you know, everything bounces off me. You know, I'm human. I have feelings. I'm sensitive. Well, thank you, Batman. Yeah, whatever. Hey, do I get paid for this? You know, I think Alzheimer kicked into that guy. He forgot that I was on his side. What was, what was the question? I'm not Batman anymore.